Blockchain Automation Framework, or BAF, is an automation tool for deploying consistent, production-worthy DLT platform on cloud. This enables teams to develop and deliver a DLT solution without the need to architect from scratch. BAF provides three key aspects, security, scalability, and acceleration for your DLT deployment. It provides a secure environment for your DLT development and deployment by utilizing the best practices of key management which is available by default in the solution. Secondly, it's a truly scalable solution allowing the platform to be used for early POCs and pilots. You can then scale up the same platform to run in a true production environment. It's an accelerator for all the user community. With BAF, you're able to create a dev or test environment in under an hour and cut development time from weeks to hours. The prerequisites for getting started with BAF are one Kubernetes cluster per organization. This allows the DLT platform to be deployed on any cloud provider supporting Kubernetes. One HashiCorp vault per organization with appropriate access control. HashiCorp Vault provides an abstraction from generic cloud key management service so that you are not tied to a specific cloud provider. Ansible controller for triggering the deployment. Ansible is one of the most widely used configuration management tools. We are using pre-built Docker images. For Fabric, we use the official Docker images. The Ansible playbooks contains a series of roles and tasks, which run in sequential order to achieve the automation of various components like certificate creation, orderer setup, etc. We have created various Helm charts, as you can see here. They act as instructions for deploying the necessary components to Kubernetes. Hem charts help manage deployments, storage, services, and other resources with ease. The base configuration file designed in BAF for setting up the DLT network. This file contains all the information needed for the network you are building. A configuration file for Hyperledger fabric network deployment would have various sections, fields, and values. Some of these sections are Type defines the platform choice like Coda, Fabric, Indy, Quorum. Here in this example, it is Fabric. Version is the version of platform that will be deployed. The orderers section contains a list of orderers and related configurations. The channels section contains a list of channels and the participating peers of the organizations. The organizations section contains the specifications of each organization. Each organization has its own Kubernetes and vault section, allowing you to deploy to multiple cl clusters. Organizations also have various services like CA server and multiple peers. Hello. So you've heard my colleague give a good introduction on BAF. Now, let's start and see BAF in action. And what we will show today is spinning up of a two organization fabric network with two peers each and three orders using Kafka consensus. We all have used BOFN to create a fabric network, but has anyone ever used it to deploy it on a production environment? I think not. We are using a single configuration file, which is the network YAML. As explained earlier, we have it pre-configured and a single playbook to deploy the fabric network. This playbook installs Flux and other deployment related tools. The playbook takes care of various checks, ensuring proper deployment. I 
At this point, the first Hyperledger Fabric Entity Certificate Authority gets created along with the root seal certificates. For production environment, it is advised to use pre-generated certificates. The Certificate Authority CLI tool is also created where the crypto materials are generated separately for each organization and pushed to the vault. Checks are placed to ensure certificate validity. Also, the channel artifacts and genesis block are created according to the configurations passed in the network YAML. Now, all the orderers, the zookeeper pods, and the Kafka cluster along with the peer pods are up and running. Then the channel is being created and the peers join the channel. BAF also supports installing, instantiating and upgrading the chain code by mentioning the relevant information in the chain code section of Network YAM. At this point, a fabric network is up and running. Conclusion Thus, what we saw was the ease and seamlessness with which we can deploy a production-worthy fabric network. Under the Hyperledger umbrella, currently BAF supports Hyperledger ED and Hyperledger Fabric. BAF also provides continuous deployment by using Flux, which means you can build, test, and deliver solutions fast. BAF is currently open-sourced on the Hyperledger Labs, and the link to the repo can be seen on the screen. We also have an active rocket chat where you can contact us for any queries. Do check out the latest in GitHub. Thank you.